Today, we're diving into a popular post from the Reddit titled as I am Stephen Pruitt, the Wikipedian with over 3 million edits. Ask me anything. This post received 68,012 upvotes. Posted by Saramancio D. Nicolau. The post reads as follows. I'm Stephen Pruitt. Wikipedia username Saramantio D. Nicolau. And I was featured on CBS Saturday Morning a few weeks ago due to the fact that I'm the top editor, by edit count, on the English Wikipedia. Here's my user page https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash user colon esser underscore amantio underscore d underscore nicolau several people have asked me to do an ama since the piece aired and i'm happy to acquiesce dot but today's really the first time i've had a free block of time to do one i'll be here for the next couple of hours and promise to try and answer as many questions as i can i know y'all require proof I hope this does it. Otherwise I will have taken this totally useless selfie for nothing. https colon slash slash imager dot com slash a slash zjfpqn7 fire away. Edit. Okay. I'm going to start winding things down. I have to step away for a little while, and I'll try to answer some more questions before I go to bed, but otherwise that's that for now. Sorry if I haven't been able to get to your question. I hesitate to add. You can always email me through my user page. I don't bite unless provoked severely. A comment from user squid50 says. How did you learn about Wikipedia? P.S. Thank you for all of your edits on Wikipedia. I'm sure you've helped countless people. This comment received 3023 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio D. Nicolau says. It started in 2001. I matriculated college in 2002. I remember watching it climb in the Google search results, from the bottom of the first page to about two or three from the top. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to take off. Dot but it kept showing up, and one day I though, what the hell, and jumped in. I'm not sure I believed that anyone can edit part of it until I became part of everyone. This reply received 4162 upvotes. A comment from user accomplished underscore square says, Have you ever been approached with an offer from a person or company to create or change a pages to view more favorably or unfavorably? This comment received 6309 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio D. Nicolau says, I've had a couple of people ask me to create articles for them. One or two have offered to pay me. Generally I will say no. I said yes once but that was because I genuinely felt the subject deserved an article, and would pass the notability test. Didn't take any money for it, I should add. Someone I'd never heard of before. This reply received 8105 upvotes. A comment from user tall dark and pants less says, What's the most interesting or unexpected things you've learned while doing Wikipedia edits? Also, thank you for all you do. This comment received 928 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio D. Nicolau says, Apparently the house at the center of my elementary school campus was once owned by this guy. https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash paul underscore kester our cross country team used to run around the grounds of the Virginia Theological Seminary. https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash Virginia underscore theological underscore seminary these folks used to live there https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash eliphalet underscore fraser underscore andrews https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash marietta underscore minigarode underscore andrews this reply received 848 upvotes a comment from user Metz 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 says, Do you do this for free? And if so, why? This comment received 3984 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio D. Nicolau says, Yep. Wikipedia is a free community. It wouldn't feel right asking for money to edit. It's a hobby. One that has taken over my life a bit. But a hobby nonetheless. This reply received 7859 upvotes. A comment from user Scotzio says, 
Will you be on my team for a pub quiz? This comment received 585 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio di Nicolao says, Depends on what you're drinking. Colon dash closing parenthesis dot. This reply received 677 upvotes. A comment from user an anonymous user says, Do you set goals or time limits on yourself? This comment received 268 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio di Nicolao says, Sometimes. Not often. I'll work on an article as long as it takes to get it right. This reply received 372 upvotes. A comment from user an anonymous user says, Was there ever a point when you just sat back and asked yourself why you were putting this much time and effort in? This comment received 6778 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio di Nicolao says, I have my moments. I think everyone does. But then I look back on some of the articles I've written, especially on subjects that have had no online presence before, and it feels good. That wonderful feeling of having made something useful. That's what keeps me going, often as not. Besides, I know it sounds cheesy, but I've come to believe that we, collectively, are changing the world and the way the world thinks about knowledge. That's an amazing thing to think about, and it still blows my mind. This reply received 18,712 upvotes. A comment from user Asue0 says, Do you have a favorite article? This comment received 3,100 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio di Nicolao says, Of my own, https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash pohic underscore church. I didn't create it, but I expanded it considerably. I also often refer to https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash joanna underscore quinner. She's a fascinating figure about whom I knew nothing before beginning to write her up. Others, including a few mentioned elsewhere, but these are the first that come to mind. Dot. This reply received 4213 upvotes. A comment from user killer John underscore 123 says, How do you motivate yourself when someone rejected your edits? This comment received 1394 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio di Nicolao says, If someone reverts an edit I've made, I try not to sweat it. In the grand scheme of things it doesn't matter that much. I figure either a. It was worthwhile, in which case someone else will come along and redo it, or b. It wasn't, really, in which case no harm no foul. Otherwise I try not to let it get me down. It's just the internet. No sense in getting wound up about it. This reply received 2278 upvotes. A comment from user Tommy Triangle says, Would you consider yourself an edit addict? This comment received 1112 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio di Nicolao says, Yes, an edit addicted autodidact. Dig it? This reply received 2328 upvotes. A comment from user Steve Triggs 7 says, Where's your primary source of research? This comment received 827 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio di Nicolao says, Depends on the topic. Books, mostly, usually encyclopedias. I like starting with an encyclopedia entry because it shows me that someone else has already deemed the topic notable. I'll turn to web sources, too. Anything that helps me flesh a subject out. Although that's tricky for older subjects. Sometimes the only material is available in undigitized books, for instance. But I'll use anything, so long as it passes the smell test. Colon dash closing parenthesis dot. This reply received 1412 upvotes. A comment from user Ergotonisash3 says. As you may know, many institutions tell students that Wikipedia is an credible source, therefore you cannot use it. Do you believe that Wiki is credible or do you think it still needs a lot of work to reach that point? Edit. Wow. My first Reddit silver. Thank you so much. I never thought I'd ever get one because I never have good comments haha. This comment received 3046 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio di Nicolao says. It's credible. 
studies show it to be more credible than many print sources. Also, I've found some real howlers of mistakes in print sources. Which is just to say, dot use a variety. But if I were teaching I wouldn't ban students from using Wikipedia. It's a potential source just like any other. This reply received 5102 upvotes. A reply from user the crow grandfather says, no OP here but I have edited a few Wikipedia articles. Most of my edits were edited within minutes to correct my inherent buys or spelling mistakes. Apparently there are tools that monitor pages constantly and alert for changes and check for things that don't make sense. Personally if consider Wikipedia very credible because there's people like Op who monitor it and fix errors constantly. This reply received 244 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, I've felt that for some time. I think Wikipedia is largely self-cleaning, as it were, and the community fixes lots of stuff pretty quickly. Nobody's perfect, but we try. Colon dash closing parenthesis dot. This reply received 314 upvotes. A comment from user Trema Dahl says, Oh the hero we all deserve. Good on you mate. How did this all begin? How many hours a week do you typically spend editing wiki? What else do you do with your time? You've personally inspired me to finally donate to Wikipedia. Smiley face. This comment received 1690 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, It began back in 2004. I was an early adopter of Wikipedia. I was in college at the time and it kept turning up in my search results on Google. And one day I decided to finally play around with it and see what would result. This was the result. Eventually, https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash peter underscore francisco. Be gentle. It's far from my best work. Smiley face. It allows me to scratch the academic itch without having to go for a PhD. Haven't looked back since. I spend, on average, two to three hours a night on Wikipedia. Maybe more, on the weekends. Dot but it varies. Otherwise I work. Same as the next guy. Sing in a choir one night a week. Do grocery runs now and again. That sort of thing. And thanks for your donation. Colon dash closing parenthesis dot. This reply received 2299 upvotes. A comment from user Topher underscore Fronda says, Why did you do it? Was it for the good of humanity, or were you just bored or something? This comment received 242 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, Good of humanity, sounds better, but really I was just bored. Smiley face. Besides, it gives me a chance to put all my esoteric knowledge to some good use. This reply received 447 upvotes. A comment from user an anonymous user says, How much time do you spend correcting other pages? This comment received 418 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, Most of it. Fixing typos. Correcting syntax. Italicization. Lack of italics is a bit of a pet peeve of mine. I intend to get back to article writing soon, though. This reply received 711 upvotes. A comment from user M underscore a despoton says, Do you make use of archive.org slash Gutenberg for inspiration or original sources? This comment received 307 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, I have. Not often. Most of my print sources I own. Archive.org is quite useful, though, I've come across it from time to time. This reply received 323 upvotes. A comment from user Panmixia says, In the first Reddit thread I saw about you, someone referred to you as a modern-day monk. I thought that was an interesting analogy. Does that strike a chord? Would you be open to an AI bot that copies your techniques? Say if you took photographs of your source material and the associated Wikipedia article, one may be able to automate your writing technique and Wikipedia izing of source material. What do you think about that? This comment received 99 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, I think there's a great deal of room for bots on Wikipedia. 
experiments have been made, and I think they've proven to be effective. I'd avoid one which makes any attempt to copy a human editor. Dot, but there are other things a bot can do in the realm of article creation. And I did want to be a Gregorian monk. Dot, but I never got the chance. Joke is not mine, but I will use it as often as I can, shamelessly. This reply received 225 upvotes. A comment from user Jadzaya says, You say you've written subjects that had no online presence before. Can you give a few examples? How did it feel essentially introducing the world to them? This comment received 205 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio D. Nicolau says, A huge one https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash fatty underscore mariko she has sold thousands of albums in niger but prior to writing the article the only thing i could find online was youtube videos also several composers of shape note music https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash edmund underscore duma https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash a underscore m underscore kegel https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash sarah underscore lancaster underscore composer https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash matilda underscore t Underscore Durham each of them composed at least one fairly popular hymn, and yet almost no biographical information was available online before I wrote them up. Which amazed me. Cagle was a huge deal in Southern Shape Note communities during his life. Dot. This reply received 297 upvotes. A comment from user PM underscore me underscore potato underscore photo says, What's the weirdest? most wouldn't tell your parents article you've created or edited this comment received 180 up votes a reply from the original author sarah mancio di nicolao says weird i can't think of anything really my interests are pretty tame this reply received 244 up votes a comment from user trambolino says first of all thank you for what you do question ever tried out for a quiz show this comment received 356 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, Number. I don't think I'd do well. I don't think fast enough under pressure, usually. This reply received 477 upvotes. A comment from user x 20 mike 7 x says, Do you think you'll ever give up the hobby of editing wiki pages? This comment received 70 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, Doubtful. I'll never say, never, but at the moment I doubt it. This reply received 95 upvotes. A comment from user Tommy Triangle says, I'm in the top 6,000 editors, with something like 25,000 edits. I edit here and there. I can't really wrap my head around someone with as many edits as you. Where do you find the time? This comment received 171 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, Most evenings after work. I do a lot with AWB, for one thing. I've also been at it for 13 plus years, so I've had a lot of time to rack up edits. Smiley face. Also went through a spell of unemployment a few years ago that gave me more free time than I'd have liked. This reply received 222 upvotes. A comment from user Batmanogram says, What's your favorite type of article to edit? This comment received 59 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, Biographical stuff, humanities, mostly. Art, music, history. Smattering of politics now and again. Also lots of Virginia-related stuff. This reply received 85 upvotes. A comment from user Scottish Chicken says, Do you ever put jokes in your edits just to see if people are paying attention? This comment received 138 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, Heaven forfend. I sometimes put a gag in the edit summary, and will admit to the occasional witticism in Talkspace, but that's it. This reply received 292 upvotes. 
A comment from user Scary Pillow says, as someone who undoubtedly does a lot of reading and writing on a computer, what is your ergonomic situation? Do you feel any strength interested in researching? Are there subjects you don't enjoy, but still research so that they will be represented on Wikipedia? This comment received 80 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio Di Nicolao says, to answer the second part first, dot not really. I tend to avoid hard sciences and things like that because I don't really understand them. Otherwise, I enjoy history. I enjoy the humanities. Virginia history is especially fascinating to me. Dot art history, for obvious reasons. African topics sometimes. Dot the South Pacific. I'm eclectic. Colon dash closing parenthesis dot. This reply received 121 upvotes. A comment from user DunnyJ92 says, How are you today? This comment received 280 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio Di Nicolao says, I'm well, thanks. You? This reply received 370 upvotes. A comment from user Wubba Flubba Flame says, Firstly you are amazing. Truly. I've relied on your knowledge for many a sleepless night to wander into the abyss of knowledge. Secondly how are you so well versed in such an array of topics? We are not worthy. This comment received 37 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio Di Nicolao says, I'm not, really. I'm a decent generalist who read a lot as a kid and managed to retain most of it. I'm very much the absent-minded professor type without the academic setting. Thanks very much for the kind words. Colon dash closing parenthesis dot. This reply received 38 upvotes. A comment from user human from scratch says, Thank you. Also, in all the topics you have covered what has been your most profound discovery? This comment received 69 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio Di Nicolao says, Honestly? I know I keep coming back to her. But Joanna Quinner. HTTPS colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash Joanna underscore Quinner I was thunderstruck when I read about her. She's only the second American woman sculptor I've encountered born in the 18th century. The other being Patience Wright. HTTPS colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash Patience underscore Wright. And I'd never heard of her. Never seen her work. Never studied her and I took a class on 19th century American art in college. I thought she was a copyright trap before one started reading up on her. It's so interesting to me that she was unable to break through when Harriet Hosmer, Edmonia Lewis, or Anne Whitney did. And I was glad to be able to write her back into the history books, as it were. Colon dash closing parenthesis dot. This reply received 188 upvotes. A comment from user A underscore male underscore falafel underscore AMA says. How did time find out about you? This comment received 70 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio Di Nicolao says. I suspect they just looked at the list of top contributors and found my profile. Nothing fancy. This reply received 145 upvotes. A comment from user Butsex Europe says. You related to Scott Pruitt? This comment received 55 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio Di Nicolao says, Not to my knowledge. If we are, it's way, way back in the family tree somewhere. This reply received 95 upvotes. A comment from user Vegan Chop says, What are your favorite, types, of Wikipedia articles to edit, write, and why? This comment received 122 upvotes. A reply from the original author Saramancio Di Nicolao says, Most of the stuff I do is biographical. Artists, mostly, because my degree is in art history. But also musicians, politicians, historical figures. I suppose my favorite type of biography is of someone who wouldn't ordinarily be part of the historical record, from an unlikely profession. For instance, I just purchased a dictionary of American folk art and there are multiple entries in there for fracture artists. See https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash fracture underscore folk underscore art for more. I'm looking forward to writing them up.
I don't believe there's a traditional general interest encyclopedia out there which contains multiple entries for fracture artists, or shape note composers, or notable shakers, or other such figures. Does that make sense? It's not just about expanding the historical record, for me. It's about having fun with taxonomy. Words I thought I'd never say in my life, honestly. This reply received 232 upvotes. A comment from user Tommy Triangle says, What ways do you think Wikipedia can be improved? Personally, I think it's a bit disorganized and anarchic. It's just people all over doing random things, and sometimes that generates wonder but it's just so disorganized. Dot. This comment received 111 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, I actually feel like it's gotten more organized over time, but I take your point. I do a lot of stuff involving categorization. One thing I think has helped Wikipedia a lot is having categorization taken over by relevant wiki projects. So, for instance, Art lovers develop categories based on their interests. Musicians, same, etc. I think it's helped expand and refine the taxonomy. I hear rumblings that categorization is going to change in a couple of years, but that's a different matter. This reply received 177 upvotes. A comment from user an anonymous user says, What is your day job? P.S. Thanks for the awesome work you do. This comment received 45 upvotes. A comment from user Sandelman3000 says, Did you work on the toilet paper orientation page? That one is a classic for me. https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash toilet underscore paper underscore orientation What is your opinion on the narration for Namazu being taken down? One hand the voice was humorous, but it did accurately narrate the content. The narration can be heard on this page and old it equals 607095999. This comment received 31 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, To the former, I don't believe I did. Thanks for pointing me in that direction. To the latter, I don't get involved much in editing disputes over spoken articles, given that I don't use them much myself. Dot. This reply received 23 upvotes. A comment from user Amos front page says, How often do you make edits that end up actually being false? This comment received 31 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, Knowingly? Never. Unknowingly? Don't know. Smiley face. This reply received 71 upvotes. A comment from user Dabin underscore Z says, First off let me just say thank you. My question for you would be, since the majority of us use Wikipedia as a primary source for information, where did you get all your information to make the edits? This comment received 43 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, books, mostly. Sometimes the internet, depends on what I'm writing about. This reply received 44 upvotes. A comment from user 51 meters 0 n says, What's your favorite thing to eat while binging Wikipedia? This comment received 33 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, Whatever's handy. Long as it doesn't kill me I ain't picky. This reply received 56 upvotes. A comment from user Ricochet 888 says, How does it feel to be a badass? This comment received 38 upvotes. A reply from the original author Sarah Mancio D. Nicolau says, No idea. Smiley face. But, thanks. This reply received 61 upvotes. 